Hey, love is in the air. Welcome to Nightline News, broadcasting live from Academy Park World News Headquarters. I'm Victoria. And I'm Nyla. Today is Thursday, February 14th, and it is a day one. We will answer yesterday's Black History Month trivia question as well as X Today's later on in the broadcast. But first, here is AP's resident meteorologist Camille with today's weather. Thank you, Nyla. Today there will be a high of 46 degrees with a low of 38, and it is expected to be mostly sunny. And now, Nyla and Victoria, what are some of the things happening at AP that students should know about? Thank you, Frex and Camille. Students, have you heard about the What's Your Passion Festival? If not, here's a word from our sponsor. This is Victoria. She is a student here at Academy Park High School. She reads a book about what people are saying about herself and students here at, at Academy Park. Hey, what's wrong? It's just what everyone keeps saying and thinks about Academy Park and all the students here. What does it have to do with you? How am I supposed to amount to anything? This is what everyone keeps saying. I know exactly where you need to be. Come to the What's Your Passion Festival. It's February 23rd and it starts at 10 o'clock. A bunch of AP alumni come and they share their stories about how they got here and they overcame Academy Park stereotypes. And write your own story. Don't let anyone else write it for you. Victoria turns the page and begins to write her own story. Wow, that looks great. Students, there are some beautiful dresses and gowns from the Fairy Godmother Night. If you have a special event like prom, graduation, or a fancy event, and you like a free dress, please stop by the main gym immediately after school. Field trip forms for the ninth grade trip to see drama Romeo and Juliet are due by February 27th, 2019. All payments and completed forms are due to your English teacher by February 27th. There is limited seating, so the first 90 students who sign up with all forms filled out and complete payments will be considered. Jean Madeline Education Center will be visiting AP on Friday, February 22nd at 10 a.m. Interested students must sign up in the guidance office and remember to get a permission form signed by your second block teacher to attend. Art scholarships. Students, the art department has new scholarships available for a variety of local art institutions. If you are interested, see Ms. Rakowski. Students, $450 citations will be given if you are observed sitting on, leaning against cars and vehicles, including motorcycles in the staff parking lots. Additionally, for your own safety, do not hang out in the staff parking lots. This means no standing around, walking, running, or playing near parked cars. Please stay on the sidewalks. And remember, when you are in lunch, show respect for everything the cafeteria staff does to make your lunch experience a good one by keeping your area clean. And now, Nightline News presents Abe with sports. Thank you, Victoria. Baseball. There will be no baseball practice this weekend, this Sunday, February 17th, President's Day weekend. Next practice will be February 24th. Stay tuned for the notification regarding weekday practices starting soon. Lastly, don't forget physicals are Tuesday, February 26th, 3 to 5 in the main gym. You must have a physical to try out on March, for, March 4th and 5th. There will be a fan bus going to the boys basketball game at Penwood on Wednesday at 6.30. You must have a signed parent permission slip. You also need to have already purchased your game ticket and have that with you today. Tickets will go on sale today, all day, and will cost $5. The Academy Park Football Banquet is being held on Wednesday, February 20th, starting at 6 p.m. at the Oaks Ballroom in Glen Oda. All football players and cheerleaders that finish the season are free to go to the banquet. All others will have to pay. All banquet paperwork and money, if needed, was due yesterday. If you didn't get it in, see Vo. And now, here on Nyla and Victoria with today's horoscope. Thank you, Abe. Following today's horoscopes will be today's Black History Month trivia question, so stay tuned. For today's horoscope, if you are Aries, you can become obsessed with detail and must be sure to divide your time appropriately. Don't jump the gun. Romance will eventually come your way. Taurus, work quietly on your own and romance will find you. Valuable information can be yours if you listen to those with experience instead of finding yourself out of area without a pass. Gemini, you may find yourself in a romantic relationship with someone you thought was just a friend, but only if you don't leave your class without the right hall pass in hand. 
Cancer, you must act quickly. Let that person know how you feel. If they don't feel the same way, well, you're bad. Leo, channel your energy into household chores. Unless you're in the cafeteria, then say happy Valentine's Day and thank you to the cafeteria staff for all they do. Virgo, your teacher is still waiting on the assignment. Finish it quickly instead of wandering through the halls without a pass, looking for your special Valentine who is probably in their class doing work. Libra, explore your artistic side today with that special person in your life. You are bright in the mood of others today, unless you get caught up in the hall sweep without a pass. Scorpio, you can come up with future trends and creative fields. Don't try to hide your true feelings from the person you love. Put your phone with its busted screen back in your pocket. Sagittarius, do not overspend on this Valentine's Day. Your day will still like you, and if they don't, it's for the best. If you need to use the restroom or go to the nurse, try to wait patiently for the hall pass to return. Capricorn, be careful not to act dishonestly with the one you love today, especially in a text with a phone that you shouldn't have out in class. Aquarius, expect trouble if you forgot to buy your Valentine's Day a gift. And remember, there are better places to hang out with your Valentine than the staff parking lot, where you risk getting a fine. Pisces, don't overspend on large purchases. Opportunities to expand your circle of friends will result in possible new romantic encounters. Unless you're in the halls without a hall pass, then expect neither friendship nor romance, just the write up. Well, that's it for your Valentine's horoscopes. And now Nightline News presents Shakur with your Black History Month trivia question. Thank you, Victoria. Yesterday's question was, Kenneth Frazier is a respected businessman and an attorney and a Penn State graduate. Name the company, company he is now CEO of and the type of business this company is involved in. The company is Merck & Company and it's a pharmaceutical company. Today's Black History Month trivia question is, where is the plantation that freed slave Anna Kingsby owned? Again, where is the plantation that freed slave Anna Kingsby owned? Make sure you email your responses to Ms. Armand by 1225. From right here at Nine Line News, I'm Shakur. I'm Camille. I'm Abe. I'm Victoria. And I'm Nyla. Have a great day, night. Keep those electronics out of sight and those student IDs visible. And remember, no act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted, especially on Valentine's Day. Thanks, Knights, for tuning in this morning, and happy Valentine's Day.